I'm Mark Nevins. In this video, we'll present the multi-drill technology of the Mark Nevins dental implant system through a montage of surgical implant placements. Our first case is a maxillary central incisor immediate implant placement. We can see here going from the two millimeter twist drill to the number two multi-drill, we're drilling to place a 13 millimeter implant. The top of the black line is at 15 millimeters at the tissue level, so the implant will be appropriately countersunk. And here we're going directly from the number two multi-drill to the number four multi-drill. The multi-drills have a highly engineered cutting capacity and are engineered to match the implant size with excellent precision. We'll see that the implant is able to go into the bone relatively easily, but establishes a high primary stability at placement depth. The hand ratchet is used to confirm the stability and continue to place the implant to the desired depth. In this case, a healing abutment is placed and then soft and hard tissue grafting using a minimally invasive technique is provided. Here's the post-operative radiograph. You can see when we look at the surgical kit that we have a highly simplified kit compared to most dental uh, implant armamentariums. And here you can see the multi-drill technology which allows for improved implant site preparation. This central incisor site is starting with a surgical guide and then going to the two millimeter pilot drill. Again, we can see how nicely the drilling technology is cut. And here going to the number two multi-drill. And we can see the multi-drill's cutting capacity. Oftentimes I'll actually drill at slower speeds than my typical 600 RPMs. In here, going to the number three multi-drill, and we're gonna see we're gonna be going to a depth of 13 millimeters to the bottom of the final black line there to account for the level of countersink desired for the implant placement. Here, the final drill is gonna be the number four multi-drill to place our four by 13 millimeter fixture. And here we can see that we're drilling to the full depth for where the desired placement is. The combination of the tapered implant design and the excellent self-cutting threads is going to allow for ease of placement with minimal bone compression and excellent primary stability. We can see how as the implant reaches its depth, it's going to lock in place very nicely into the alveolar structure. Just like that, and that's set at 45 newton centimeters. Here we can see the post-operative radiograph for the central incisor implant replacement. Our next site is an immediate placement of a second bicuspid. And here again, we're seeing the preparation with the multi-drill technology. We've gone down towards the palatal wall of the socket. Here, the final preparation with the number four multi-drill. And this will be a four by 15 millimeter fixture that's being placed. And this implant has adequate primary stability, but obviously slightly more limited because of the limited bone available with the large, long root of the bicuspid that had been present. But here we can see it still is locked in place at an adequate level of primary stability. This socket will be grafted with base bone, freeze dry bone allograft once the implant has been placed. Here we can see the post-operative radiograph after the bone graft material has been placed into the surrounding socket. Our next case is a mandibular posterior case using a guide here to do the initial site preparation at the mandibular left second molar. A flap has been elevated before the preparation has begun on the right side for the first and second molar replacement. Pilot guide is going to be used and then we'll go to the two millimeter twist drill from the surgical uh, kit. Here the top of the first thick black line is 10 millimeters and then we can see the number two multi-drill going to the full depth as well. And this is going to be sequenced on the right side here going by the step-by-step -step process then, then to the number three multi-drill. and then it'll go to the number four multi-drill. It's important to identify the level that you want the uh, top of the fixture. Here where there's an uneven bone level, we're going a little bit deeper than the bone level on the lingual side so that the implant's well countersunk on the buccal side. That You can see that here, the top of that thick black line is 10 millimeters, and that's gonna be 
to an equivalent level of where we want the platform on the buccal bone so that it's all within the osseous structure. Here we can see the implant being placed, and you'll notice that the blood is attracted to the sandblasted, acid etched implant surface. And so we'll get a nice fibrin clot around the implant. That implant's then sunk the rest of the way with a hand ratchet, and here a cover screw is placed. On the other side, here we're using the number two multi drill, and on this side, we'll use a modified step by step approach going from the number two multi drill to the number four multi drill. This is going to 11.5 millimeters, which is the thin black line between the two thicker ones. And then the implant is going to be placed again at 45 Newton centimeters. Again, we can see the blood attracted to the sandblasted, acid etched implant surface going up the side of the implant prior to the implant actually engaging the alveolar structure. And we're going to get, again, a nice high primary stability here. We can see the post-operative radiographs on both the right and left sides. And if we look at our drilling sequence, again, we have the options here of using a two-drill process, first with the two-millimeter twist drill, then with your final multi-drill, or you can do a step-by-step -step process or a modification of that, however you desire. And you can see that the multi-drills are a real asset to your implant site preparation. Little Implant Company looks forward to sharing more surgical videos with you in the future.